This is seismicity on the island of Hawaii, and all of these colored dots here are earthquakes that have occurred over the last week or so. Geologists at the Cascades Volcano Observatory in Vancouver are busy. They are assisting scientists right dealing here. with an eruption in Hawaii. And unfortunately, in this case, there's a subdivision that was built directly on the East Rift Zone. Geophysicist Michael Poland says lava started spraying out of someone's backyard. When they hit the surface, uh, one of my colleagues described it as like a garden hose that was split down the axis. So you get these fountains along uh, a fissure. He says it wouldn't happen like that here. The major difference is the composition of the magma. An eruption in the Cascades would be a more explosive disaster. Poland says thick magma seals in gases. The pressure builds and then there is a blast. But then we can also get these big explosions that can drop ash uh, many, many miles um, downwind uh, of an eruption. Now we got a big slide coming on. Poland says the devastating Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980 is an example of what several volcanoes in our area are capable of. When you see Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, Mount Baker, Newberry, Three Sisters, these places exist because these volcanoes erupted. Many of them have erupted only a few hundred years ago. Geologists were able to track telltale signs an eruption was going to happen in Hawaii, and they gave warning. So we had a fairly good idea of where the magma was and how it was moving around in the subsurface over time. This office in Vancouver is always on the lookout for the same signals in the Cascades. When you look at those volcanoes, know that they could erupt. It'll happen one day, but that's the reason we're here. We're, we're focused on trying to understand these volcanoes and, and predict their behavior. Geologists say volcanoes can show signs they're going to erupt for weeks or months before the event, but other times they can be very unpredictable.